I'll try to be okay. short and sweet. <laughs> and I appreciate your attention, and I'm impressed. It's a lot of people to pay attention to, and uh, you've done a, done a good job tonight. Thank you. My name is Kristen Miller-White, and I'm a professional geoscientist, environmental consultant in the state of Texas. I'm also a mother of two children in elementary school here in Austin, Texas. Um, let me just start off by saying any implied controversy about evolution and climate science um, is a political and ideological propaganda. Science thrives when it is independent of commercial or ideological interests. If these interests are allowed to pressure scientists to distort or suppress their findings, science is weakened and we all lose. Our nation is based on freedom, and that is a freedom of religion, as well as a freedom from having others' religion forced on our children, especially with public funds in public school. I believe that our science textbooks and our curriculum should be based on customarily accepted academic principles that prepare our children for college level science classes. Life and earth sciences are, are the basis for a wide array of science, technology, engineering, and math, the STEM careers that we're all trying to engage our children about and get them interested. Um, this will strengthen our economy it will pay our children well in the future, and it will provide innovations to make the world a safer and healthier place for all of us. Please adopt the peer-reviewed public school science textbooks that will prepare our children for college. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? questions? Thank you for hanging in there with us. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. Yes, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ratliff. If you're in the geosciences, have just today, all of a sudden, my phone and email started blowing up about the anti-oil sentiment in these books. Have you looked at that issue? I have not. I try to remain objective. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I'm not aware of any anti-oil sentiment. Um, if perhaps people are referring to carbon emissions as anti-oil, I don't see why these two fields can't happily coexist. George Mitchell, the founder of um, the Woodlands and also the inventor of modern hydraulic fracturing, mm -hmm. also started a, a organization in Houston that specializes in climate change. And he was a person who understood sustainability and the, necess the necessity of offsetting uh, the damage that we do to our earth. If you believe it is God's creation, then it is God's creation for you to take care of. Um, if we're putting things into the air that could cause cancer or or change our climate, then we should have reliable scientists that understand what's going on to try to take care of it, to be good stewards. And that's, that's my goal as a parent, to teach my children to be good stewards and um, educate themselves so they can be, you know, critical thinkers and hopefully scientists. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 